Parkinson's disease psychosis is a common non-motor symptom of Parkinson's disease that probably affects many more of our patients than we've really realized over the years. Uh, probably 50% or more of our patients develop uh, the, fre the frequent or severe hallucinations or delusions. And it really begins to impact not only their daily lives or their interactions with their caregivers, social withdrawal, but also impacts our treatment strategies because we begin to not increase or begin to lower a lot of the medications that we typically would be adding or increasing to treat the motor symptoms. Currently, when we see patients who have uh, psychosis symptoms in Parkinson's, we always want to make sure there's no uh, new medication that they've received for the medical conditions, a bladder problem, for instance, make sure there's no infections of the urine, uh, elsewhere, dehydration, electrolyte disturbances. Uh, but we're now understanding that Parkinson's psychosis is part of the disease process reflecting underlying degeneration uh, in different parts of the brain. And because of this, we've tried to uh, treat a little bit earlier than we did in the past, allowing us to continue to treat their motor symptoms if we can stop or reduce the hallucinations and delusions. Unfortunately, we've been limited in our treatment of Parkinson's psychosis because almost all the antipsychotics that are currently available to be used worsen motor Parkinson's by blocking dopamine receptors uh, postsynaptically. There are three that we can use. Uh, one, a clozapine, but it requires weekly blood tests and is hardly used probably for that reason. A quetiapine, which is used off-label uh, and is limited uh, in that we don't have established efficacy in clinical trials, although anecdotally it seems to work in some patients, but it, its use is often limited by sleepiness or orthostatic hypotension arising from off-target receptor affinities of quetiapine. And then we have pimvanserin, which was approved in the uh, U.S. Uh, several years ago uh, for the indication of Parkinson's psychosis. And, and this only blocks serotonin 2A receptors and can be a first-line treatment for our patients with Parkinson's psychosis. But many patients respond uh, not fully to this. About 14% have a complete resolution of all symptoms. Uh, about two-thirds have a clinically meaningful improvement. Uh, but about 25% don't have improvement or get worse. So we need uh, more treatment strategies and options for our patients who continue to suffer with Parkinson's psychosis. At the AN this year, we presented the results of a uh, initial study, a uh, proof of concept study, that explored whether a new type of antipsychotic that has no affinity for dopamine receptors nor for serotonin 2A receptors. So unlike all other antipsychotics, this antipsychotic called CEP363856 only has affinity for TAR1 receptors and, and some uh, 5-HT1A receptors. Uh, it's a full agonist of the TAR1 receptor. And in earlier studies in schizophrenia, it demonstrated efficacy and tolerability. Because it did not have affinity for dopamine receptors, it was something that we wanted to look at in Parkinson's psychosis to see if it can improve psychosis without worsening motor Parkinsonism. And then that was uh, what we tried to explore in this very early study, uh, looking for a signal of efficacy and, and mainly to make sure it didn't worse motor Parkinson's.